I'm Dr. Rita Louise, and this is a Planetary Vibration Reading for the week of October 12th, 2017. This week is all about change. This change can be in almost any aspect of your life, but it will most certainly be permanent, significant, and absolute. If you'd like to schedule a psychic reading from me, please visit my webpage, soulhealer.com. Here's this week's planetary vibration reading. Before I begin, I want to thank everyone who has provided me with feedback on these weekly readings, your input on how you're seeing these energies affect your life are invaluable. For anyone who's tuning in for the first time, I would love to hear from you. How are you experiencing these changes in your life? Well, to start off this week's reading, my hope that is, my hope is that we're about to hit rock bottom of this cycle. I can't say for sure, but the signs of transformation are in play. I don't read tarot cards when performing these readings, but if I were to pick the closest tarot card to fit the energy in hand, it would be the death card. The death card is indicative of change in your future. This change can be in almost any aspect of your life but it will most certainly be permanent, significant, and absolute. Death suggests a complete severance between past and the future, and it will likely be painful. Despite the sense of loss that may accompany it, death fills an important role in our lives and leads eventually to acceptance. It's a necessary part of moving forward, and you will find the changes easiest if you embrace them rather than fight them. Death is often tied to the dark night of the soul, which we talked about last week, and is often the last step before rebirth. What the rebirth will be as we move forward is a bit of a mystery at this time. However, the energy of reevaluation, solitude, and rebirth at a higher level we are working on bringing into our lives. These new dynamics may already be coming across your awareness as you read this. Tied to this change is the concept of exploration. Where am I going? How do I get there? What's the best path, best path to take? Whether it's a physical trip or a trip through your psyche, we will be having the opportunity of letting go of the old, which will make room for the new to come in. We may experience emotional pain as we bring in the new. The new, however, will be on a higher level of being. You may feel as if bringing in this new dynamic or letting go of the old, as the case may be, will be like cutting your nose off in spite of your face. But it is only through that pain that accompanies the deep and profound change that we will be able to move forward. This type of change is life altering and cannot help but touch us on the deepest levels of our being. Through it, we'll be gi- we will be given the opportunity to create anew. It's interesting because it's only when we are being touched at such a deep level as you may be experiencing right now that we are open enough for this new profound level of change and transformation to occur. It changes us at the core of our being and will affect our outlook toward life from that day forward. As for the timing of it all, I feel as if we personally are sitting on a powder keg in some aspects of our lives. Well, I have to tell you, it's ready to blow. If it's in a personal relationship, think about what you've been experiencing over the past few weeks and months and assume that They have been experiencing the same dynamics. No wonder why tensions are high at this time. We all need to release some steam. If challenges appear in your more personal relationship, recognize that everyone else involved are also dealing with the harsh factors that are present on the planet. They too are working through the craziness we have been experiencing and trying to reconcile it with themselves and their lives. I feel that once we are able to mutually let go of all we've been holding onto, that forward movement will be able to assert itself again. Whew. Well, I hope this reading is correct 
but I won't really be able to know until I check into next week's energy. I can only hope that this is the end of this cycle and we'll be starting anew a bit, a bit sore again next week. Well, that's it for this week's Planetary Vibration Reading. Please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like me, Dr. Rita Louise, on Facebook, or schedule a private consultation by going to soulhealer.com. Till next time, I'm Dr. Rita Louise. Be blessed. Thank you.